All right, I am whooped. Oh, so much uh, time has been devoted this week to 121, 22, 23, 24. <sighs> Look what we got here. We got drywall. Uh, this customer opted for the uh, garage insulation. John just left and I had moved this away. So we got insulation inspection passed and I moved this out of the way because he wanted me to put more foam in there. So I left this out so he could inspect it so I could push this back in messing around fighting it so we passed insulation inspection and all rough so and this was another spot and uh guess when you when the inspector knows you have integrity uh he let me insulate here even though he knew that uh he wanted this area done here so i just went ahead and pulled it out for him so he can inspect it that we're good to go there and yeah, now these sliding glass doors are for another building but let's take a look inside the painter has pre-staged uh, his paint in all four units and uh man i want to thank my colleague nathan fine fine young man hope when you get down for your uh, pre-close walk get a chance to meet him spectacular young man um by golly, uh, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with out here if he's not already. I'm a big fan of his. So a lot of the time that I've been focusing in here is making sure all the options, just absolutely everything. Normally, I do it at a leisurely pace, but I have really picked up the pace this week on these four units. These, the, the Being that I was able to get the inspections and per permission to insulate, has gotten me into kind of hyperdrive, if there was such a thing, hyperdrive. But uh, we are awaiting the drywall hangers. Uh, drywall takes, the whole evolution takes about a week. Um, we got one whole crew that they do nothing but hang the sheetrock, and they start from the ceiling and they work their way down. Then another crew comes, the taping and finishing crew, and they come multiple times. They apply their first coat of tape and mud, then they go away because it's got to dry. And then they come back and sand the first coat and they put on a second coat. And then they go away. And then they come back and sand and then do a wider coat all the way around. And then the big old texture wagon comes, a whole separate crew. So drywall is rather in, uh, inclusive of a lot of uh, people. And it when, when we're in the drywall, pretty much no one else can come in here. There's nothing for them to do yet. And then uh, I've already got, for all the four built units, um, all the tile, because that who comes after a uh, drywall man, all the tile is in the warehouse. And, of course, we know the, the trim material here because the trim carpenter follows him. Painter's already we had him stock his paint, so trying everything I can to say, hey, what can you bring out on the job side of materials so to see if I could find any shortages out there. But I'm trying to let all the subsequent trades be ready that we are going to go, go, go. And I'm not going to stick in here electricians and low volt man at the same time trimming out later. That's, we're not going to do that. That's how you, they just get to be kung fu fighting. So we're not going to cram people in here. But the idea is that every day progress is being made by a certain trade and getting their scope of work. Heck, I mean, it's only 2 o'clock and I'm done tired. Had also a couple closings to do. Got another one coming up to do next week. And uh, so I've been earning it this week. That is for sure.